Yo, what's up? This is Rockland. I'm hanging out in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And today I just want to go over real quick the pros and cons. Well, it's actually my guidebook of staying at an Airbnb. Engage. I'm Rockland. I travel the globe making videos and recommending destinations. Join me so we can discover, preview, and book your next vacation. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. Subscribe and enable notifications so you can see all the other videos you may like. Airbnb is the Uber of hotels. Like how Uber lets you use your own car as a cab, Airbnb lets you rent out your space as a hotel. This comes in very handy for travelers who want either a cheap, quick overnight stay or travelers who want to spend a few bucks but get the most bang for those bucks. Staying in someone's home or rental property instead of established hotels has many interesting characteristics. I recently tried Airbnb for the first time, and I know for a fact that when I travel by myself from now on, this is definitely the way I'll be lodging. Wasn't this called crashing at someone's house a little while ago? Not really. These are the five reasons why. You could come and go as you please. Never again will you have to hop out of bed on the day of departure before your hotel demands their keys back and their room empty. Even better is not having to sit around the airport for hours instead of in your room because your plane is set to leave hours after checkout. Most Airbnb owners will tell you, oh just leave whenever you want on checkout day. Remember to use my Airbnb link when you sign up. Of course I'll put the link down in the description. Number two, size matters. When you spend the prices that a lot of hotels are charging and compare it to what you could have gotten on Airbnb, you will be astonished of all the room you would have just enjoyed. Upstairs, different room, some stays are in houses that you will wonder how they are making a profit when giving out so much space for a week for such a low price. Number three, what else do you get? You may not have a restaurant downstairs to order food, but what you do get will probably make your stay more enjoyable than some hotel cook's recipes. A lot of times Wi-Fi is included, super window views, and a local supermarket down the street does just fine. Cook in the kitchen or just eat out every night and you won't miss the hotel one bit. But then add a patio, pool, or hot tub, or a barbecue grill, and you will never again want to feel what it's like to have someone outside your door mistaking their room for yours and sticking their key in it over and over again. Sometimes even a gym is included, and with minimum cleanup fees, it's like staying at an expensive guest house. Remember to use my link when you sign up. Stay tuned for this quick commercial break and I'll be right back. Passport Kings has always been in the business to try to help you make money online so you can travel more. That's why I was always giving away this great opportunity for you to learn the travel industry and make money in the travel business. But some people said recruiting is not something that they want to do on their everyday basis. And I can understand that. Sometimes recruiting can take a really big toll on you. Sometimes you just want to make money without any risk and without going around telling people about your opportunity. In this case, I've came up with the excellent way for you to make money from home and still be the boss of your own time. What Passport Kings has become involved in is called Arise. You'll work for Fortune 500 companies doing customer care and answering questions from home on your telephone. But like I said, the best part about it is you make your own schedule. Work when you want, don't work when you don't want. There's no one over your shoulder telling you where you have to be and what time you have to get there. Come over to www.passportkings.com slash arise and learn about this opportunity for yourself. Okay, so number four is someone to talk to. There's nothing like knowing a local in the area that you are staying in, so they can tell you where the hot spots are in that area. Some people move to these spots for specific reasons, and now they will be able to tell you all about it. If you run into the host of your Airbnb, they are usually very pleasant, but always seem to have a plethora of information. Certainly, your experience will be much more social if you're actually staying in your host home with them rather than a detached guest house. But either way, it's a fun way to meet people and learn about local culture. The person that I stayed with never showed up and that was just fine with me.
Number five, Airbnb might be better than a local hotel. Sometimes hotels are far away either from the airport or the midst of the action, but the nearest hotels were a few miles away and quite pricey. When we turned to Airbnb, we found a rental located just three blocks walking distance from where we needed to be. Because Airbnb properties can be anywhere, you're not limited to stuffy offices and busy avenues. The entire Airbnb experience is not perfect. I've heard excellent times and I've also heard some horror stories. I've even heard about some owners being racist and not renting to people of certain skin color. But for the most part, what you will get is half business people, half hippies, who are usually delighted that you chose their offering. While our stay was wonderful, there's a big chance that properties could be less than ideal and then was advertised or for hosts to cancel your reservation due to their own quirks, and some will even have a no alcohol policy in their listings, which is an immediate turn off for me. Or they could just be lying about how fabulous the place is. Worst of all, certain cities are questioning the legality of Airbnb stays in the first place. But if you're looking to try something new and adventurous, then when worked out could become the only way you will travel from then on. Give it a try. According to the reviews, it usually turns out wonderful. My stay turned out wonderful. It will definitely be my choice when I'm traveling alone. When I'm with others, I may still get a hotel. But just remember to use my link when you sign up. Next time you travel, be a little adventurous and grab you an Airbnb like a king of passport kids. Peace.